Hey guys, it's Matt here, and today we'll be finding out if you can use an iPad Air 2nd generation in 2020. The iPad Air 2 has gotten software updates since iOS 8, and is currently on iPadOS 14, meaning that this iPad has received iOS 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, iPadOS 13, and 14. It has gotten seven major releases of iOS, or iPadOS. This iPad will have almost seven years of support by the time iPadOS 15 comes out. Now, I have a feeling that that version of iPadOS will not be running on the Air 2, but it's insane to think that even after all these years, the iPad Air 2 is still supported. So the specs of this iPad are, it has two gigs of RAM in the A8X SOC. Now the A8 processor actually does not support iPad OS 14. It's mainly for iPhones. The highest that the A8 processor got is iOS 12. So that means the iPhone 6s didn't get iOS 13. And that makes sense because it doesn't have as much RAM as you need to run this, although sometimes I feel that that's not exactly true. This thing has two gigs of RAM. This one has 120 gigs of storage. This is the, that's the highest you can get on one of these iPads. It has a kind of big problem where it has a really, really weird charging issue where you plug it in, doesn't charge until you restart it, and it totally gets screwed up if you try to plug it in. I've had it where you plug it in and it charges for a second and it says accessory not supported when it's plugged into a wall outlet. There's something seriously wrong. I don't really know what it is, but yeah. Otherwise the iPad still works fine. Now, how has this thing been to actually, you know, use as on a daily basis? Now, like I said, it is, since it's an iPad Air, it is actually quite thinner, as you can see here. You can see that it is quite thin compared to newer iPads. You can see it's really darn thin compared to the newer ones as they they don't sell iPads that are this thin anymore. So you'll see this is an app that I use here quite frequently. It is called Penbook. This is what I use for school. I don't really care about the picture that it uses. VC, okay, I didn't, I typed way more than that. So you can see it brings up the, uses the Apple Pencil Kit, so it brings up this little pencil UI thing here. And I can go here to the menu. Let me change this to just a ruled piece of paper because that's what I usually use this for. And you can see here, I don't have Apple Pencil, uh, nor does this iPad support it. So I'll just use my finger here to draw. And usually what I do is zoom in. If I have like math problems, be, whoa, that was bad. If I have math problems, I'll be like, okay, here's number one, five plus two equals seven. So mainly I just use this for school. I don't really use it much. And yeah, crashed, okay. <laughs> I don't really use that much for non-school purposes. Let me see if I can reopen the, okay, yeah, I did. Use it sometimes just for watching videos and uh, chatting on Discord and stuff, but it's usually used just for school. I, that's most of what I have here. In fact, if I go into my files app here, if you go on my iPad, you'll see I have a folder here, not there. I have a folder right here for class homework, and you can see if I click on it, it just shows I have my classes in there. I just store my homework just in case something happens. Then I delete it at the end of the year. So do I think that this is a good iPad for just a regular person to be using? If you are just a basic kind of person, you don't need anything modern, you can use something older like this just for basic tasks. I think it's fine. I think that you can easily use one of these. I think that the iPad Air 2 is a good iPad. As long as like you're not doing like intensive video editing, which I know you can do on these, this iPad probably wouldn't do it very well. So one more thing that I will say with iPad OS 14 that I think has made this app very much more useful. iPad has lacked a dedicated weather app forever. There's never been a weather app on the iPad. And finally, Apple has kind of gave us what we wanted with the new widgets and you can see here I've got a weather widget here on this side of the screen so I use this just you know checking weather of course and I'm very happy that Apple actually you know gave us kind of what we wanted and put a weather widget right there for us so and of course you can scroll through unfortunately and this is just with all iPads you cannot put widgets on the home screen itself so if I try to do this and then hit plus you can see okay let's drag a widget here you can see it first of all it wants me to put it here but if I try to put it elsewhere it just won't work and it kicked this out of here for some reason and if I try to go to a different page you'll see if I try to drag in a widget it just doesn't work and then the plus button just disappears so there is no widgets on the home screen nor is there an app library you know, no matter how much i scroll over to this side it doesn't exist please apple add an app library to the ipad before this ipad loses support no less because chances are this ipad is going to lose support with ipad os 15. now if you still have one of these good but don't go out and buy one of these you're not going to be happy with it well you probably will be for the first year until apple cuts it with ipad os 15. And I really do think that they're going to cut it with that. They may, I, they may not, I may be wrong, but I really do think that they're going to 
cut support on this with iPad OS 14. Whatever. Can you use the iPad Air second generation in 2020? Absolutely. It, since it's even currently supported, you get another year of full software updates, meaning that you can get all the latest features, all the latest security updates, all that. You get all that with this iPad. It's not like the original iPad Air, which only gets up to iOS 12 and you know, you don't get all that. You only get basic security updates and you really only get a few of them. I think the latest iOS 12 update is iOS 12.4.8. And well, this is the last year that that version will be getting security updates now that iOS 14 has been released. So yeah, that's about it for this video. But wait, I have something else that I want to do with this iPad that, well, probably shouldn't be doing, but so Apple said with their new iPad Pros that your next computer is not a computer. First of all, that doesn't make sense. But second of all, I think what they're claiming is that you can buy one of these and it'll be a good computer for you if you are a basic user. Even though this is not an iPad Pro, I will still be seeing if I can use this iPad as my main computer for a week. Yes, I know, I love doing these kinds of videos. I always like that kind of style. It's just been something that I feel is just good. <laughs> That didn't make sense. So yeah, I love doing these kind of style of videos just because I think it's fun just to see if you could use devices with their restrictions and stuff, if you can even use them today. You guys, you may see it is a different day and a different time. And that is because I forgot to record the outro again. Oh, uh, that seems to be a common theme, isn't it? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, then give it a like, click the subscribe button down below if you want to see more content like this. So yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Bye guys.